Uh, well, it's that time. Things are about to get really stressful around here because we have a lot to do in a short amount of time. The Lickmax 2 120 and 240 from Enermax is another awesome choice of AIO liquid coolers for gamers and enthusiasts without breaking the bank. Patented shunt channel technology provides extra layer of cooling capability. Click the link below to find out more. I told you guys on Twitter that I'm actually moving. I think I talked about it in a video or something, mentioned it anyway. We are moving and we currently rent this house we don't own. We're about to lease another property here in California. My sister's gonna move into this house and man, things are about to be really, really hectic, especially when it comes to trying to unpack or pack up stuff, trying to determine what's worth keeping, what's worth garage selling or selling or whatever because there is a lot of stuff. So yeah, my sister's family, uh, my brother-in-law just retired from the army after 20 years. He did his 20 years in the army and they were located out in uh, Fort Drum, New York. So they were way in upstate New York up by Watertown and they just moved all the way across country back here into Southern California and their family of five have been staying with a friend uh, as they've been trying to get housing. But the problem with trying to get housing out here is when you retire from the military, it's not easy to get a job, especially here in California, when you're relocating all the way from New York to California. There's a lot of stuff that has to kind of fall in place. And in the meantime, the military is like, thanks for your service, best of luck out there. And then for, you, you, it's not like before the military gets you housing and they set you up, you got nothing. So anyway, the, whoa, that was a really bright light right there. I got my softbox on. So it all worked out really well. Um, but yeah, just like the situation is somewhat complicated only because my parents also rent um, some space out of this house. The garage was converted to like a studio apartment and my parents have been staying out there uh, because you know, they're, they're retired. They don't need a lot of space. And they asked my wife and I, if we would take over the lease in this house, which we did. So I didn't have a garage. I don't have a garage for car stuff. I don't have a garage for storage. And when I'm trying to run a business like this, it's all product based. It's, it really starts to accumulate fast. And I get rid of a lot of stuff. I do a lot of giveaways with it. I give it to friends. I build computers for family and friends and give those away. But the thing is I keep the stuff that has value to the sense of making future content. So a lot of the water cooling stuff, I can do future videos with that. Motherboards and, and CPUs and graphics cards. I can do builds and how to's and stuff with that. So I can't just get rid of everything. So I feel like the majority of the stuff that's gonna have to move is gonna be product stuff. So you guys have all seen this before. This is the what's inside the closet and it, man, it is just cluttered. Why do I have two Yetis? I have a Yeti there and there's a Yeti in that box. Any of you content, uh, aspiring content creators want a mic? Maybe I'll do a mic giveaway. Maybe we'll do like a streaming setup giveaway. That'd be kind of neat, right? Anyways, all my water cooling stuff. There's some more water cooling stuff that came right there. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of breaking down the graphics cards and I'm putting them away. And you can see I never cleaned that block out. How terrible of me. Anyway, it'll come clean. Maybe I'll do a video on how to clean your blocks. Actually, I already did that video. So you don't even know what I'm doing. But yeah, Skunk Works is going to be the last thing to come down because I still have to try and make videos in the meantime. Um, some of them are going to be moving vlog style stuff. Um, I know a lot of folks were like, oh god, here we go. Six parts of moving vlog just like Linus did. But this, I'm not planning on doing that. I, I'm still going to leave this set up for a little bit here to try and create some uh, content in the meantime. But there is going to be some spillover, if that makes sense, on... Uh, you know content being created here versus getting set up at the new place and making sure the internet is going and Plus having to move in and I don't have a lot of help with moving So it's it's getting ready to get really freaking crazy and I saw some comments on Twitter They're like Haha, he's moving right after he did all that work to get the living room set up. Yeah, I know right at least that's set up for my sister and her family but anyway, I just wanted to kind of talk about that where Some folks were like well, why is it your responsibility to get your sisters? You know let your sister move in you guys first of all you must not have any sense of family if you say that. So you can get the fuck on out of here with that attitude. And second of all, if you know anyone who retired from the military, got out of the military, moved across country, and knows the hardship of trying to find a job, trying to find housing, trying to get housing when you currently don't have a job and you're living off military retirement, then you know the struggles. So anyway, it all just worked out really well. As we're going to move out, they're going to move in, um, and everybody's going to be happy in the end. So... I mean, I don't, I don't see the problem in that. And if you do, well, too freaking bad. It's not your house. Yeah, so this is just the tower of GPUs. And you can see there's still boxes under there. My God, I'm such a PC hoarder. But like I said, uh, these things are supposed to have future content value to them. 
See, if I just got rid of everything, like everyone says, then what would end up happening here is I wouldn't be able to continue to make videos about future things like, oh, okay, this new driver affected this graphics card. Was it, you know, did it work? Uh, Crimson came out. What happened with the old graphics cards? If I didn't have them, I wouldn't be able to do any of that content, would I? Anyway, the unfortunate thing is my Kingpin here, they didn't send me a retail box with it because the first one I thought I had a bad one. Turns out it wasn't a bad one. So they gave me a different one, but they kept the box and didn't give me a box. Now I have to pack that one up a little bit, a little bit more carefully. But yeah, this is turning out to be a much bigger project than I had really hoped it was going to be. Oh dear God. All right, so it's actually been a couple days and I know it doesn't look like much, uh, but I got the shelves off the wall. And I'm patching the holes that the shelves made and you can see that the closet is mostly empty. I got my tools up there. Um, yeah, so that was actually a lot of work. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's all empty under there. It's my drill. Um, this is all emptied out. My router and stuff's on top of there. So I still have to rewire all the network in this house for the my sister's family. Um, but yeah, look at how many boxes this was. So all those boxes right there were just the uh, <laughs> uh, the business inventory. Holy crap. Yeah, and that's not all of it either. We still have the garage and the shed, if you remember that mess. Okay, so this vlog's been going over the last few days now, and the wife, the baby, and I, little Jay's at school right now, we're on our way to the property to go and take a look, uh, or do the official walkthrough. We've already done the lease agreement and the down payment or the deposit and all that stuff. Two things I wanna talk about. One, everyone asks why we're leasing and why we're not buying, even though it's a buyer's market right now. Um, one, I don't have enough money down that I wanna put yet. I mean, yeah, we're qualified for FHA loans and stuff. 3.5% um, down, it's, that's easy, but I wanna put more than that down. I wanna qualify for a conventional loan, not an FHA, and I want the home to have equity from day one, rather than being immediately, you know, or nearly upside down after interest and all that stuff is accumulated into the mortgage. Not only that, my wife is a stay at home and I work on the internet, so we could live anywhere and we're not convinced we wanna stay in California. As much as California seems like so much fun with Disneyland and snow and the beaches and, and mountains and all that stuff, it is very expensive to live here. There's very few states that are more expensive to live in than California, one of them being Hawaii, and I believe the other one being New York. New York has more taxes than California. Uh, but that, So we're gonna lease for the next year and we're gonna see where we are at the end of that year. Um, the other thing I wanna talk about is sort of piggybacking on uh, Logan over at Tech Syndicate's rants about ISPs. And you know, I have a friend that worked for um, Comcast up in Washington, and I was kind of ranting to him yesterday about this situation. Now, I live in an old neighborhood right now. I mean, the neighborhood was built in the 60s. The only broadband provider there is AT&T U-verse, which as you guys know is a DSL, um, sucks by the way, and Time Warner Cable. Now, I've been with Time Warner for, before they were Time Warner when they took over AOL and stuff, so I've, we've been with them for a long, long time. And over the course of being with them forever, they've continued to up our internet speeds for the same price without charging us anything extra. So for 99 bucks a month, which again is a lot compared to other countries uh, with the speeds that you get. You know, some guys, some countries are, are messaging me saying they're getting 300 megabit or 500 megabit for 40 bucks. It's like, wow, you know, the US just sucks when it comes to internet speeds. Uh, but I was getting 300 down, 20 up, for 99 bucks a month, which isn't terrible at all. It's, it, that's fantastic. The problem is, that's the only provider available there. So moving to a denser populated area, you know, that's a newer area, I was thinking, man, maybe I'll get a chance of getting like Fios or Fiber or, or something nice and fast. Nope, the only available provider where I'm at now, uh, where we're moving to is Charter Spectrum, which is a 60 megabit by four megabit, and that's it. That's one plan. There's no different tiers, there's no faster options, unless you wanna go with a business, and then it's only 100 by five, and you pay more than twice as much for only an extra 40 down and one up extra. Ridiculous. So I, I got on the phone with Verizon and asked them if they were gonna be trying to expand in that area, because Verizon is in a few different pockets of that zip code. And the same thing with Time Warner, I asked them, and the guy in Time Warner told me that there are no plans of expansion in that neighborhood because of the uh, the lockdown agreement that Charter has with that zip code in the municipality. And I got on the I got on the phone with my friend who lives up in Washington, and no, I'm not talking about Jerry, uh, the one who worked at Comcast, and he was explaining to me the politics involved in municipality uh, and why 
you always have that one dominant ISP provider in, in different areas. And it sucks, you know that? Because I have no choice. I have to go with this 60 by four and I've got to make it work. It's going to take me five times longer to upload videos, which I mean, I'll be looking at about an hour upload, which isn't terrible. Uh, but that thing, that means while I'm uploading now, I can't do anything else that would require any sort of upstream. Uh, and 60 megabit down, that's not that's not bad at all. I can live with the down. I, I I barely scratch the amount of down I have now. Even though I pay for 300, I've been getting 350. So Time Warner's been giving me an extra 50 on top of what I pay for. Uh, I'm getting almost as much extra with Time Warner as I'm getting total with Charter. So I'm I'm just ranting right now, but the stupid ISP situation that we have, you know, it, it's it's really messed up when utilities. And the internet, for all intents and purposes, is a utility, not a commodity. Uh, can have a complete monopoly like that. It's ridiculous. And I, I don't know if anything's ever going to change in this stupid country when it comes to the ISPs. But yeah, it's ridiculous. So anyway, we're going to do the walkthrough right now. Um, yeah, I, I just want to get that off my chest. A lot, I tweeted it yesterday, people, you know, that I was getting 60 by 4. Now I could do, I could bring in multiple lines from Charter. And it's only 40 bucks a month, $39.99. So, I'm saving money on that, and I could bring in two or three of them and pay roughly the same as what I was paying, maybe 20 bucks more, and get you know a really decent connection. The problem is then I've got to pay for some sort of a surface like PF Sense or Mushroom Networks to, um, to, to you know, what's the word I'm looking for here? I want to say truncate them. Technically, it's not a trunking; it's a link aggregation. But that's ridiculous because I'll have to. Sometimes that's $200 a month just to get that service. So that, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm sure some of you guys feel my pain, and I know some of you are like, quit bitching, we only get three down, 0.5 up. Yeah, we're not trying to run a YouTube channel with that connection, I hope. Anyway, this affects my business, that's why I'm mad about this. Whatever. All right, so I guess now we'll take a tour of how destroyed the house is. You guys remember this room? I spent all this time getting this set up. This has kind of become the baby's playroom while everything else is pretty much getting destroyed. There's the TV and stuff. Larry the Cable Guy playing, I guess. I don't know, I don't watch that idiot. Um, here are all the boxes I showed you earlier. Still have to take down that entertainment center. More boxes. The kitchen's destroyed with boxes. And uh, some of that stuff is staying. It's actually not ours. Uh, let's see, let's take a tour this way. The house you guys never, you never even got a house tour of, did you? Boxes in the hallway. Boxes there. Here's the office that kind of still looks like it's together but it's not just the desk um it's together i need to take that apart still and the computer which i'm going to edit this on shortly after i record this um see some more boxes there camera still together there and the uh golf clubs there coming this way let's see little jay's room is pretty much as you guys can see all packed up Boxes there, boxes there, boxes there. Her computer's still together. I've got to take that apart, actually. The uh, famous blinking mouse. Uh, let's see, oh look, suspension parts. Uh, master bedroom here. The wife there. And everything, as you guys can see, is completely and utterly just discombobulated. What are you watching? The news? Watching the news, how boring is that? So this is our brand new fridge that we bought because uh, old one took a dump. It went, well actually it didn't go bad. I guess the condenser froze over. But anyway, new fridge there. What's in the fridge? We never did like a like a MTV Cribs type of deal, did we? Uh, we got some egg beaters and stuff down there. Uh, some beers down there, and yeah. Food, what else would you expect to be in there? Okay, moving on to the backyard. Our new backyard actually doesn't have any grass in it, which kind of sucks, but it's completely water friendly. Almost out of boxes. See, we got some stuff there. This is the other fridge going back in there. A bookshelf that we're gonna refinish. Um, this looks like garbage, but this was actually my wife's childhood vanity. There's a mirror that goes to it too that our neighbor's refinishing there. And we got this guy. It's amazing. Hey, boy. Hi. Hi there. And then, of course, there is the shed, which kind of looks like it's a complete shambles, but it's really not. Um, that's recycling bottles that we got to take care of. And then, as you can see back there, hey, shh, shh, quiet, you. And as you can see back there, it's stacked up with uh, a lot of computer cases and monitors and things like that. There's actually all stuff in there. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm gonna miss this house, but I'm kind of not at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, the house we're moving into, man, wait till you guys see it. It's freaking amazing. Uh, I've got to get the network patch panel finished up in the new house, but I don't actually get the keys to that until Sunday night, Monday morning. Sunday, Jerry and I are going to be at Disneyland with our families. He's actually flying down in Southern California and going to Disney. Why are you running around in circles down there? This guy's just like, oh, I'm gonna run in circles. Max, come here boy. Where's Max? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where is he? Oh, we're just doing circles now. Where's, oh, we're gonna come this way. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Oh, where's the dog? Where's the... All right, anyway, that's enough of that. That's enough of that crap. Let me know if um, you guys want me to do a vlog from Disneyland. He's saying he's not going to. I think you should. I think you should be putting up more videos. Uh, but anyway, let me know if you guys want me to do a vlog. I'll gladly do it. And then um, I got a video I got to do on Friday. Figure out what I'm going to do about that. I might do some car stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a vlog from the car. You guys tell me. Uh, the new Z, I haven't showed it really much. Uh, but the next week, start the official moving vlog. So we're going out of here and into there. Anyway, I know this video has been a little bit on the weird side. Um, yeah, it's a very upside down part of my life at the moment, moving into this giant house. And, you know, if we'd like it, we might end up buying it, actually, because this house um, was on the market for sale and it was turned into a leasing property. And depending on what the market looks like at the end of this year, if we really like it, we might buy it. Who knows? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you want me to do the vlog from Disneyland. I will gladly do it. And I will get that, uh, I'll call him a co-dick hole. I will get that co-dick hole on camera with me doing a vlog as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.